Hey, stylist, it's important that you keep your shears in the right tension. If you don't have the right tension, then you're going to cause problems with your hand. You're going to have hair bend or fold instead of cut where you're using more pressure. And you can also dull out your shears quicker. So it's really important that you know how to correctly adjust your screws. And there are three basic screw types. And this time we're going to talk about the regular screw. If this type of screw is on your shears, then you need to watch this video. These shears are the ones I want to talk about. The slots in the different shears are different sizes. So one screwdriver may not fit for them all. If you get one too small, it's not going to work well. If it's too big, it won't go in here. So find it a screwdriver that fits your shears. Now, what if you have to have them adjust it right then? And you don't have a screwdriver there. Sometimes a quarter, sometimes a dime, and you can just check it and these will um, adjust your shears for you. Now, why would you have an emergency time when you need to adjust your screw? Maybe your screw is loosened up, and we're going to talk about this screw on this shear first. This particular shear is too loose. Now, why would you not want your shear this loose? Number one, you actually have to use more pressure on your hand, and you're going to cause more carpal tunnel problems. If you're using a shear that's too loose, because you have to use a crab grip, you see how I'm twisting my fingers, to make it close correctly. Because if you don't, here's what's going to happen. I cut the hair and it's just going to fold. To make it cut, I would have to do a crab grip to make the blades come together. So if you're noticing your shears are folding the hair instead of cutting, you're having to use more pressure, check your adjustment. If it's this loose, it's time to adjust them. Now you may look at this shear and if you flip it over, it looks like you've got a screw on both sides. This is what we call a split screw. The screw is really one piece, but there's like a little split in the stem. Here's a picture of what it looks like. Now, if you turn it this way, you're going to use a regular screwdriver, but if you turn it around, it looks like a teeny tiny screw here. So all you would need to do on this shear is tighten it with a screwdriver. I like to tighten it with it open and a finger in the back here and it's righty tighty or clockwise to tighten your screw. Do it a little bit and check it. That's still way too loose. A little bit more, check it. I tell people to turn it just a, like a half a turn and then check it. Now that might be permissible. I would like to see a little bit tighter than that because they tend to loosen up. When you think you have it tight enough, the trick is to open it all the way open. And I'm going to wiggle this handle and I'm going to wiggle this handle. So I'm doing this with a little bit of pressure and it loosens up. And then I might want to give it a little bit of a turn tighter. Now the correct adjustment should be somewhere between here and here. A lot of times people want to just feel it in their hands and see how this feels. And so you can customize the adjustment to your hand, but it has to at least catch itself a little bit before it comes down if you like them loose. Most people will prefer them where they're a little bit tighter and they're staying up here. Now that was one shear. Let me show you this from. It's the ultra light. It's super, super, super light. This one, if I adjusted it like the other shear, it would be too loose because it doesn't have the weight of the handle to pull it down. So this one, the adjustment needs to be all the way up. So just be aware of the weight of the shear in your adjustment and what feels right in your hand. Of course, I would not put my left hand. Um, so you can kind of flick it and see what feels good as far as the pressure of your hand. This is a Jaguar white line. It has like a little black nut on the back and a regular screw on the front. Uh, this one you can actually use a quarter will fit in there if you don't have a screwdriver because it has a wider slot. 
Now on this one, because it's a heavier shear, you may want to change the adjustment where it's a little bit looser than you would that from shear. And you can feel it in your hand if that should easily flick up with your thumb and not fall all the way down. And once again, just like that original shear, when you get it set, you want to wiggle it. This adjustment that you see on the Jaguar is the actual adjustment coming from the factory. You see it almost touches, but not all the way. And this is straight out of the box from the factory in Germany. This one is the Fromm shear. And once again, it's straight out of the box, hasn't been touched, and it's adjusted tight like this. Different shears will have different adjustments depending on the preferences of the manufacturer. In general, if you don't know what the adjustment is from the manufacturer, you want to have something a little bit tighter than this, where it's going to drop right about there, because the screw will loosen up as you use them, and you don't want to have to stop and adjust them. If you're having to adjust your screw all the time on your shears, that's usually a manufacturer's defect, and I would go back to whoever you bought your shears from and see if that's covered under warranty and see if they can correct it. As a stylus, I would not take these screws out. There are pieces in here. There are little washers. There's on some of these are nuts that are on the back that are very difficult to put on. And if you need to clean underneath them, you can use dental floss. You can use like a little brush. But don't back them out to clean them. Just adjust them. Don't get any moisture or water underneath there. Oil is the only thing you're going to put underneath here. So I hope that's helpful to all of you stylists on how to not have a loose screw on your flat, regular type of screws shears. As I said, you're more likely to see these on older shears, on German scissors, and on beveled edge um, even if they're not made in Germany, shears that are influenced by the German style of shears.